Okay, so how many of you guys have ever wondered, how can I possibly have my email signature set up uh, so that I have an image in it? Now, of course, maybe some of you might even be at the point where you, you just got to start from the very beginning. So like, how do I get to the point where I can actually add a signature? Well, let me go back to Outlook and yeah, I'll go ahead and save what I've been doing. And we're going to start from scratch. So. Before you send a reply out to a patron, um, so yeah, of course you can go to new and type in the information that you need to say. Then of course you'll you'll send us an email media at valdosta.edu. Um, that will email everyone that's at media center who needs to do a job request. Okay, um, but while you do that, you want to make sure that maybe your signature uh, looks pretty professional. Uh, in, in my case, I have my name, my title, where I work, uh, more information about where I work, and information on how to contact us. Maybe I would be interested in also adding something a little bit unique to my signature. Uh, so yeah, the text portion is great, and that's easy to do. Um, so how do you actually add signature, and how do you have it automatically in, inputted into your emails. So we're in the web app. This is different from Outlook um, in how you actually do it. We'll click on the gear shaft over here right next to your uh, icon signifying you as the user. You'll look for options, click on options, and then once you get to your account setup, uh, of course you can add a photo about yourself and the underneath the account, uh, but we're going to look for uh, settings. So I'm going to go to settings, and while I'm inside of settings, I see mail, calendar, and regional. Mail needs to be highlighted, and I'll see email signature underneath. Oops. So settings, email signature. Let me go ahead and mouse uh, or pan down a little bit. All right, so inside of here, you can manipulate and add your text as you need. Uh, it's just a basic text editor. It's just plain text with hyperlinking capabilities. So there is not an option inside of um, Signature to actually place an image file. There's not. Um, so one thing that I'm going to do is, is actually make it possible so that you can have an image inserted in here. Um, some of you might be wondering, well, how in the world do you do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple, and um, it's kind of a, I would say, a hack in a way. So if you happen to have an image um, that you've put up on your own um, server, in our case, over at the Media Center, we'll have um, a URL for our images, and I'll supply that to our students. Um, so if you go to the URL link, and in this case, I have it already opened over here. So let me refresh the page so I can just have it visible. This is my URL, and it's rather lengthy, but this is where I'm pulling the image file from. I'll right click on the image, copy, and then I'm going to pull up my email again and go back to my signatures. So in, inside of here, uh, I can either click Control V to paste it, or right, um, I don't think there's a right click paste option, so uh, that's the only way that you can actually insert, is using the control V to paste, uh, control C to um, go ahead and copy. Now if you want to uh, make your image a link to say, um, in this case, I'm going to make the, a link to our um, media, Odom Media Center uh, Facebook account, then all you have to do is find the Odom Media Center Facebook account. So I'll go to Facebook, and in my case, I already have it going. And here we are. So I'm at Odom Media Center, and here's the URL. That's my URL. Control X or right click cut. And then I'll pull back in my email. 
And here, of course, I have selected the image. I can see that I can resize the image as necessary. Uh, the image file I have up is 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 inches. Uh, that's plenty small. I'll click on this URL uh, insert option and just go ahead and uh, paste in the full URL length. Click OK. And now if someone were to click on this uh, when, when they receive the email, they would actually be directed straight to our Facebook page. So that adds a little bit of extra character and zing to our website. Um, as well as to your signature and uh, gives people ability to um, socialize and find us a little better. So hopefully this helps you with generating a professional looking signature. Um, this is a, an example that you can feel free to use uh, when creating your own individual signatures.